This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube algorithm stuff to get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking. See how I'm analyzing that data. Listen, Credit Suisse put out the FUD article that a that we need to sell out AMC because AMC is going to 95 cents. And uh, I tweeted about it, and then. There's this gentleman named Pedro Gatsby. Hope I'm saying it right. And, and he, he, he tweeted, they meant that Credit Suisse is going to 95 cents. And I told him, I said, I said, you know what? I was thinking the exact same thing that Credit Suisse meant that if retail investors don't sell the AMC shares, Credit Suisse is going to 95 cents. And, and here's the thing. First of all, that's market manipulation, and that's, it's illegal. It's a criminal act. It seems that Credit Suisse can't stop breaking the law. They can't stop breaking the law. It, it, that is like the foundation of their business. They money launder. They, they, they help drug dealers, you know, move cash around the world. They, they just stay committing crimes. And now yesterday... They, they they committed an, another market manipulation, but you know I guess in the history of their crimes this is this is a minor crime to them because they are felons as far as I'm concerned. But here's the thing: why would Credit Suisse be so concerned about our AMC shares? And as I was thinking about it, I started thinking about our Kagos. And you know what I said to myself? They are probably holding a lot of AMC shorts that they inherited when our Kegels went belly up and they lost billions of dollars. And and not just that, the other banks saw what was happening <laughs> and they got out and they left Credit Suisse in there to hold the bag. Credit Suisse was the our Kegels bag holders. Okay? Bottom line is this, the 1%, the hedge funds, the SEC, their co-conspirators, they don't care about us. They don't care if we lose money. So if they thought, or if they knew rather, not thought, if they knew that AMC was going to 95 cents, they would be quiet like a church mouse. They would not say a word. They would let us crash and burn and then they would laugh about it because they dislike the fact that we beat them at their own game they dislike the fact that we refuse to sell and we're gonna hold on tight because warren buffett said it warren buffett said the stock market is a vehicle that transfers wealth from the impatient to the patient. And I'm going to tell you something. Us AMC apes, we have been very, very patient. So our attendees should be coming very, very soon. Credit Suisse is in trouble. Credit Suisse probably won't survive the year. They have even been trying to change their name back to First Boston, and they can't even do that unless I guess they'll have to pay other entities because there's other entities using the name. Credit Suisse business model, and this is just my opinion, is to commit crimes. Credit Suisse business model is to commit crimes because it seems like that's all they do. And usually when they get caught, it's just a small fine. But because they doubled and tripled down on AMC and because the AMC apes have not sold, those guys are in trouble. If somebody would have told them three years ago that a, a movie theater chain stock would be the demise of a lot of major players on Wall Street, they would have laughed at us. They would have laughed at us. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button on that YouTube algorithm. Tell me what you think about Credit Suisse spreading FUD because they need 
I was sheer to stay alive. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.